Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. DICE is changing many things in Battlefield 1, and this video is not about the new Russian DLC in the name of the Tsar that is coming in September. Today we are going to talk for the new Conquest ticket system. Well, not so new, but for Battlefield 1 is new. First of all, I want you to know that this is not final and DICE developers are testing this new conquest system as well as weapon improvements that I am going to cover in the next couple of days. So what I'm going to say is not final, it's for testing reasons only in the community test environment and they may change or not go live in the retail Battlefield 1. Now first of all, I'm going to read you the developer's announcement as it is. Hi again, alongside today's weapon update, we're also reintroducing the Conquest Legacy Majority Rule to the CTE following the very popular community demand the past months. What is Conquest Majority? With this update, Conquest Majority moves away from all the flags individually counting towards scoring. Your team will now need to own the majority of the flags to score tickets. This should allow for a much better chance for your team to turn the tide of the battle even if the enemy is close to winning as long as you maintain majority. We are very curious to see how this will play out in game and we really want to hear how you feel about this change. We will be testing this change on the following conquest maps. Amiens, Bolton Bridge, Sinai Desert and San Quentin Scar. I will see you on the battlefield. Now first of all, let me inform you with something that I respect very much. This post is from a DICE developer under the nickname DrunkZ3. This developer has spent all of his time the last couple of days in the CTE servers playing with us and testing this new system and the new gun patches. So that and only gives me a satisfaction that DICE really wants to take this game to another level. Also, I'm really glad I had this guy a teammate for most of the games cause he's a beast. Now, the big problem with Battlefield's 1 conquest mode was 1. If a team starts a game really good and players spawn on planes and go to the objectives fast as well as with horses and vehicles and the other team doesn't do that, then they will have a really bad start. They could even be spawn trapped from the beginning of the match. And that doesn't mean that there are not good players in the losing team. It might be a really good team but no one did rush the objectives fast. Now the thing is, that it takes a really long time for the heavily losing team to push back the enemy. And because it takes a really long time to do that, at the time they push them back they might be losing with 200 tickets or more. And with the scoring system in Conquest we already have, it is very difficult to cover a difference that big. With this new scoring system the developers are testing, this could be much easier, it is very similar to Battlefield 4. The team with the most objectives captured will have the upper hand in tickets, so if a team that was losing for 200 tickets has now over the 50% of the flags captured, they will reduce the tickets a lot faster and the enemy team will not gain so much tickets. So they will have a very good chance, with the help of a behemoth or without it, to get back in winning the game. Notice here that the tickets won't count down, they only go up for both teams, whatever. And so it happened in a couple of games in the city service to me as well. We were able to catch up when we were raped at some games from the beginning. And it's really cool. The Conquest games now are much longer, sometimes by 80% longer than the, than the ones we have now in retail Battlefield 1. 
The good thing is with this ticket system is that the losing team won't give up if the difference is so big. Knowing they have a chance for a comeback, the game will be intense until the end and that's exactly what we want. So I hope I gave you an idea with the new scoring system. The next couple of days I will be making videos with the new big weapon changes so keep that in mind, interesting stuff happening in weapons as well. If you liked the video please give a thumbs up, if you didn't thumbs down, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.